There's been a lot of Balloons Tower defense games, with every iteration bringing new towers, strategies, upgrades, and changes. The most notable and craziest update was from Balloons TD5 to Balloons TD6, where they turned it from a 2D game into a 3D game, and also added T5s as well as a third path to the towers. I'm gonna be trying to get to round 140, using only what was available to us in Balloons TD5. Is it possible? Let's find out. Now, some towers actually still keep their T5s, mainly the Ray of Doom, just because that's what they moved it up to be, so you are allowed to get some T5s. So let's see how it goes. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's no Bee Sandler and there's no Alchemist. Now, I do have the Druid, but I'm only using the Druid for the original Wizard upgrade. Okay, this is what the wizard used to be and they gave it to the druid And so if you look the wizard actually only has one path as well Which is summon phoenix because archmage and prince of darkness were added after so we also cannot use those You can't even go crossbow. You can only get juggernaut and super monkey fan club on the dark. That's weird Zero heroes are allowed uh, what should we try to get? I guess I'll go ahead and get like a, a buccaneer because buccaneers are really good now You notice you actually can't go bottom path. You can't get crow's nest. I think you actually used to be able to get crow's nest on the original. They have changed up where some of the upgrades and placements go. Uh, so some of them are a little bit weird. For example, like the engineer monkey. Actually, the engineer used to go sentry gun into faster engineering into balloon trap is actually what the... I think it went a sentry gun faster engineering to cleansing foam to balloon trap. So it's been moved around, so you can only get faster engineering into overclock now for the engineer, which is kind of strange. And for this, you can only go up to aircraft carrier or monkey pirates. So most of the time, you're only going to be working with T4s and not every T4. So it's going to be really interesting to see the difference that most of these towers have, right? Village is the only one that also retains its T5. Now, primary expertise is a little bit different. Because in the original Bloons TD5, it wasn't, I don't think it was called primary expertise, but actually what the tower did was it just, it like was this laser energy beam that zapped balloons. So they changed it out for this weapon, but it's still the same mechanic of it turns into an attacking tower that reduces cooldowns by 20%. So in honor of that, I think we are allowed to keep that, but pretty much everything else is the same. It's really interesting to look at some of these towers and be like, holy cow, like these towers are wild. And then with banana farms, no bottom path. You can literally only go bank or banana research facility. That's it. That is the, that is the, your only option. Also, why did I put this banana farm in like the, one of the best spots? Why did I do that? That's such a bad placement for a banana farm. I should have put it like way down here. I might want to get a dartling gunner because I think Ray of Doom is probably going to be the best tower here. Other than that, Spectre is probably our best option because, you know, it's Spectre and Spectre is a super solid T4 anyways. Which is kind of funny because Spectre used to be the best tower in the game in BTD5 besides, you know, Sun Temples and stuff, which we can still get a Sun Temple. That is something that we probably want to try to work towards, is getting a Sun God Temple. Because this is the strongest tower in the game now. Funny, right? Like, the Sun God Temple is now the strongest tower in the game, like it was in BTD5. So, do we just go straight for a bank? Actually, do I? I'm not putting, I'm not, I'm not doubling down. Also, I need to be careful because I have no camo detection on this guy and no camo detection on this guy. I'm pretty sure they used to have camo detection, but just due to, like, how it works now, you're not allowed to get the, to the camo detection. Maybe I should have allowed the T2s, but that, that ruins the whole point of every tower only having two paths. Because a lot of towers have actually lost their camo abilities now. Sniper, I, we have elite, we have supply drop on sniper. So I might go that, because a supply drop on the sniper could be cool. But I don't have faster firing. I have to go large caliber now, which is kind of not great. But it will allow me to hit lead balloons, so I'm kind of down for this. So let's just get night vision goggles, so now we can hit the camo balloon. No problem. Uh, let's go ahead and just get shrapnel. We'll need full metal jacket, and then let's get shrapnel shot. That way we can actually hit lead balloons once they start popping out. I want to start working on banks. That's what I would like to do. All right, increased production, greater production. Let's just get all of these to greater productions, and then we can start working on getting these to banks. Where's my alchemist? I missed my alchemist already. The alchemist is such a goaded tower. I'm so sad that Balloons TD5 doesn't have that. I'm literally just being lazy. Just give me, just give me double shot. I do. I want to get cannon ship or destroyer. I don't want to have to deal with a Moab. That's the last thing that I want to have to deal with right now. I should be able to get a bank here in just a moment, which is going to be very nice. 
It's crazy that banana research facility is like the best like farming thing that you can get. And most other farming things are just not in the game. I mean, you have support Chinook, and then you also have the sniper monkey. And that's like the only things that you have to make money. Have you yourself played Balloons TD5? Like, have you been playing Balloons since then? Okay, I need, whoa, I need this. Okay, no, 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 uh, Close? No, no, first, you need to pop balloons. I need, okay, I need to better, I need some better camo detection or else I'm in trouble. We do have a Moab showing up soon and I'm not really too confident about our ability to pop a Moab right now. I am not too confident. I like one monkey bank, please. And then after I get a monkey bank, I think I'm gonna be okay. So let's get one monkey bank. All right, everything else, let's start putting into, should I just get cannon ship? Or do I get a destroyer? Let me just get a cannon ship because that's going to be some big damage, which is going to be very nice. Now we have to go up against a Moab here. What do I want to get? I kind of want to get Wizard Monkey and get Monkey Sense because that's just really solid. Well, I can collect some money. So Wall of Fire, I want Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath, can I get Dragon's Breath? Collect all Dragon's Breath. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, that's going to pop it. Right? That's going to pop it. Okay, th that was good. That was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. It's so crazy to think that, like, there was a time where Summon Phoenix was the final upgrade for the wizard. And you're like, yeah, right? Like, that's so weird. The only option I could do is just get Juggernaut on him, which is so weird. Oh, whoa. Are we okay here? Yeah, we lost a couple of lives. I need to get this guy upgraded. I need some bouncing bullet on my sniper because I, I just don't think I have the luxury of just going full banks right now. So let me just get a bouncing bullet which is gonna be much stronger. I could get large caliber, but I really don't wanna get large caliber. I just need something better for camera detection. I guess I could get like a spike factory. Man, that seems weird when we get a spike factory. I guess I could go spike storm, cause spike storm's not too bad. And then we could just have the spike storm just sit right up here in the front. And then let's just, are these close? They're not bad, okay. White hot spikes, and then let's just upgrade and get spike storm. Cause now this guy's just gonna be spewing out spikes. Once we get spike storm, oh man, that's gonna be super duper, super duper duper solid. And boom. All right, let's go. Do I wanna get a banana research facility? I don't want a banana research facility. I think I'm just gonna stick with banks. Pretty easy to get, pretty easy to manage. We can't even get a true sun god temple. We can literally only get a sun god temple, which I think I'm gonna put right here. I can get two sun god temples. And I think I'll put one here and I'll put one there. That is the one nice thing though, is I don't have to worry about maxing out T5s. I just realized that the super monkey doesn't have camo detection. It literally, it has sun temple and tech terror. It literally can't see camo balloons. That is really funny. All right, give us laser blasts. How are we doing? Banks at 6,000. So we need to be ready. We need to be paying attention to the banks. All right, and then I'll also want one here and I might want one at the start. So if we have three, Sun temples, I think that's gonna be really good for us if we can get all of those. Plasma blast, are we okay here? Whoa, that was not good. That was not good. That like, are we gonna be okay here? Are we gonna pop things? Okay, yeah, we're okay. But like, not by a lot. All right, we can collect all. Give me a sun avatar, nice. Okay, now we've got sun avatar, which is very, very potent and very, very powerful. I could get uh, uh, something. I could get some more banana research facilities, but I don't want to. I'm too lazy. So we need $50,000 in sacrifices for each and every tower. Holy cow, this is actually going to be kind of expensive. I also want to get a Ray of Doom, but I'm not going to put the Ray of Doom down just yet because I do want to make sure that I have a Sun God Temple over here. I might make this Sun God Temple a support Sun God Temple or give it the support buffs and then put a lot more of the stronger towers around it as well. I think that might be a really like solid thing to do well we can upgrade this to supply drop and maybe we just get like a couple of supply drop snipers that are within the range of this guy because we need to sacrifice them anyways and they're gonna make us money right so i think there is that should be enough for fifty thousand for military right ten thousand ten thousand ten thousand i'm gonna yeah that's definitely enough and we can use them to make some money and get some pops. So I think overall that's going to be very solid. Now we've got military. We need to get primary. What's like a $50,000 primary? The thing is they're all T4s. Oh, we can get Glaive Lord actually. Because Glaive Lord is a T5 that was in the game. So we can get a Glaive Lord. Which I think that's really the only thing that we can kind of try to save up for. Because everything else is so like 
bad. Like everything. Oh, there's also Absolute Zero. So let's get Glaive Lord and Absolute Zero. And those will be our two primaries. And then we need to figure out what we want to do for magic. I guess just another super monkey, like a tech terror or something. I, I actually don't know how far we can survive. Because we can get sun temples. And some, it's not like we're using only T4s. Right, there are some T5s that are still available to us. All right, boom. Okay, so we have $93,000. Now let's go ahead. We can get Glaive Lord. So we can upgrade that. Glaive Lord and then absolute zero. Okay, boom. All right, and I'm just going to wait to get around $50,000. And then we can go ahead and just get the Sun Temple. We're almost at $50,000. And as soon as we get to $50,000, or maybe like $55,000, and then we want to just spend all of our money putting towers around this, and then we can upgrade it. Which is $108,000, mind you. And also, look at these guys. They've actually made their money back. Okay, maybe not fully, but they're definitely making their money. Okay, so we have $52,000, and now let's put all of our money into putting these things down. So I have 55, okay, 55, and then, boom, and then one more, Spectre. Okay, so we have primary, Military and magic. You can only absorb three categories for the first one. So this is all we're gonna be able to do. No! Oh, I didn't go from round one to 80. Oh gosh. We have to uh, extend the challenge. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was a minor miscalculation. I was on a challenge browser. So I pretty much, I got everything back. Everything's good to go for now. I got my banks back. I got, I don't know if, I don't think I was missing anything. I'm pretty sure this is all of the things. I accidentally upgraded to a Summon Phoenix, but I think that's still more than fine. So we should be good. Now we're basically just trying to save up and get enough money to get our Sun God Temple upgraded and ready to go. I might need one more of these because it's only 40,000. I'm going to just put like a little bit of something down. Maybe just Bouncing Bullet. Maybe just like a little bit. I think that'll be plenty because I think... That way we guaranteed to have enough money for it. I'm also tempted to sell some of these banks and then turn them into research facilities. But the problem is, is you don't have powers. You don't have powers in Balloons TD5, right? Do you have banana farmers? You, you had banana farmers in BTD5. Never mind, you did have banana farmers. Yeah, I'm crazy. Okay, maybe I'll just do that. We are gonna start running into some problems, especially like camo. Like, I am a little bit worried about camo because I still don't have the village yet. This is almost maxed out. And once this is maxed out, we can upgrade this to the Sun Temple. And then we got to make sure that we get ourselves a, 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 a village. Like, immediately. Because if we don't have a village, we lose. All right, collect. Nice. Okay, Sun Temple. Nice. Super range. Epic range. And now we can put a village right next to it. And then get MIB. Okay, cool. We're good to go. Now this, this feels like Balloons TD5 now. We got Summon Phoenix, we got Sun Temples. Like this actually feels like Balloons TD5. All right, and this thing is really strong. Look at its range, holy cow, it's actually like global. Very, very potent. Got all of the magic things that it needs. Okay, we're doing big damage now. Do I wanna sell these and turn them into research facilities? Or do I just stick with my banks? I think I'm gonna turn them into banana research facilities. I think that's gonna be a better option. Because otherwise I can't skip routes. And I can only get like one or two, right? I can get I can get three. That seems good. Oh my gosh, wait, I can't get any powers though. So there are zero powers to be had, which is a little bit depressing. So I do have to collect them all by hand. That is, we're still kind of moseying about. I want to make sure, we got to get a Ray of Doom. Ray of Doom is going to be really important for us to get. So let's lock Ray of Doom. Oh my gosh, we're on round 105. Oh my gosh, I need 86,000. Oh my gosh, we're already like struggling. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, give me a Ray of Doom. We need Ray of Doom. Oh my gosh, Sun Temple is clutching right now. The Sun Temple is clutching it. We can't get any better forms of money making. We literally only have just the banana research facilities. Like that's it, that's all we got. If we can upgrade this to the Ray of Doom, we're gonna be in uh, some better hands. But the thing is we can't ever get like better, uh, Oh, are we there? Okay, boom. We got Ray of Doom, finally, which is really nice. I couldn't get a banana research facility there. Or I couldn't get a sun temple there. Like, the best I can do is monkey pirates, right? Oh, I can... Oh, but I can go aircraft carrier, right? Aircraft carrier is going to be really good. Yeah, because you can get aircraft carrier, which is going to be very nice. Aircraft carriers are kind of like the hidden goats. And... 
Let's try to get some specters, because I think specters are going to be really good. But man, we're getting overwhelmed so fast in the late game. We can barely get any T5s, right? Like, barely any T5s. So the things that we can get, we should probably just go ahead and try to grab. Uh, I don't... Yeah, let's get Spy Plane, because it allows us to do more damage to camo. So I think that'll be really cool. All right, nice. All right, so far, so good. We're at round 115. If we can beat round 140, I would be very happy. But I don't even know. I don't think that's going to happen. We can try, though. Well, one thing that we should we should do is we should put a primary expertise village down because we can get access to that. And then we should get a Glaive Lord because I think a Glaive Lord is going to be really good. But it might just still not be enough. Glaive Lord, come on. Can I get a Glaive Lord? I need 30,000. Okay. We're doing we're doing okay. Let's get an Ice Monkey down because we can get Absolute Zero because Absolute Zero was an option for us to get. And I think having that could help us out. $20,000, not bad. Okay, come on. Absolute Zero, nice. All right, we've got Absolute Zero. Is there any other T5s that were left in the game that we can get that would be really good? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure those were all of the, the major ones. For now, I think we just want to try to go and grab Tech Terrors. How much does a Tech Terror cost? 19,000. Yeah, let's just see if... I think Tech Terrors are going to be our best, like, late-game defense here. So, let's see if we can get that. If we can get round 140, that's going to be amazing. I just don't think it's going to happen. How many pops? That's 140,000 pops. Nice. That's our goal, is 140. If we can beat 140, we might not even be able to. Like, we're already struggling a ton. All right, let's go to round 139, and we're going we're gonna to pause it. All right, Tech Terror ability... It's, oh man, this is, this is brutal. This is brutal. Oh, I need call to arms. Oh my gosh, it's getting close. It's getting so close. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're managing. We're managing. Okay, so we got to sell, sell, sell. We have $90,000. Let's take a look. So Dart Monkey, I don't want Dart Monkey. Glaive Lord, we have that. We have absolute zero. Maybe we get just a bunch of specters. I think Spectre is going to be the strongest one. Either Spectre or Tech Terror. What are our thoughts here? We have that. Man. Let's see. 200,000. I think we want just Spectres. I think Spectres are probably the better options here. Because they always do damage. So let's just see. Let's just get a couple Spectres inside the range of it. Ooh, can we get another? I think we can get one more. No, we're off by like... Okay, what can I sell? What do I not need? Uh, sorry, George, you gotta go. Okay, there we go. We have $789. Let's go. Round 140. All right, use the boost. Use everything. All right. Oh, my gosh, we're actually shredding it? Come on, pop it. Pop it. Pop it! I've got, I've got my freeze ability. So, as soon as it pops, get ready. Oh, my gosh, come on. Okay, slow it. No! No, oh wait, wait, let's retry last round. Let's try it. Let's try it again. I think I want tech terrors actually. Let's try that because if tech terrors have their abilities, I think that's gonna be a better cleanup for us overall. But then that leaves us with thirteen thousand dollars, which is is not that great. Maybe just some more, like just some simple more glaives. Like they're pretty cheap, but I think they're gonna do some nice cleanup if we need to, especially around the ice monkey. Okay, all right, let's try this. That might be better. Okay, use all three of the tech terror abilities. Oh, yeah. Look at how much more damage we're doing. Okay, this is... Oh, my gosh. This is already so much better, I think. All right. Have it pop sooner. Come on. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, come on. All right. Freeze everything. We almost have tech terror abilities up again. Oh, my gosh. This is like the final boss. All right. Come on. Tech terror, tech terror. All right. I spammed all the tech terror. Oh, my gosh. All right. We got it. We got the fortified, but we still have a normal BAD that we got to deal with. Oh, I think we got it, though. I'm pretty sure this is going to be easy breezy. Freeze it. Slow it down. Wow. We did it. We actually beat 140. That took everything we had. Took a couple tries. That was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. It's brought a lot of appreciation to me of how much balloons has grown over the year and how many new towers and ways and strategies that we have. This definitely looks like a BTD5 strat, which is really funny.